hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's your boy, Childs the Hunter, your neighborhood outdoorsman. This episode of the podcast is brought to you by Peak Refuel. Peak Refuel is a freeze-dried meal company that has made it super simple, super easy, and also super delicious to have some awesome freeze-dried meals in the backcountry. One thing I will say, but this is true about all freeze-dried meals, is my guts bubble tough after I eat some of these. My guts go crazy. So if we can get Peak Refuel a way to figure out how to not make my intestines go just bum 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 after I have some of this, I would appreciate it because this is amazing stuff. I mean, if you mix this with the uh, with the egg scramble, it's like out of your mind crazy, blow your mind away craziness. Uh, I promise you. Um, I'm, I'm not playing. Like This is like legit amazing amazing stuff right here this episode of the podcast is also brought to you by the one and only north spore mushroom company the north spore mushroom company let me tell you the north spore mushroom company has made it very simple for anyone at any experience level look you can have any experience level you want you can be novice completely beginning completely no clue what to do all the way to having your own boom room. I'm not sure if you can see the boom room over here behind me, but the boom room is just an environment that cultivates mycology. I mean, I'm serious. It's it's all controlled with the humidity. Uh, I have heat lamp in there. I have light in there. It's all of its control. This is actually some oysters that I just pulled. I, these are actually a little bit uh, ready to rock. They're ready to rock. I got to cut these off today and uh, get them cooked up. But I'm probably going to dry these out, get them ready to rock, cut them up. And um, you can literally do anything you want with these oysters. You can make uh, some kind of like buffalo wing wild sauce. You can make all kinds of craziness. You can you can go as crazy as you want with, with this. Any kind of meat you think of, any kind of sauce, any kind of recipe you can make with meat, you can do it with mushrooms. And I'm not sitting here saying to go vegan. I'm not. Because clearly, clearly, I eat meat, right? Clearly, I eat meat. Um, but I love mushrooms. They taste amazing. I love mushroom season is right now. It's upon us. So go outside, look on the ground, make sure you get some kind of an app. If you're very familiar with your my mycology, perfect. If not, post those pictures and ask questions and just hashtag my colleges and i promise you you'll get your answers um this right here is uh, i'm gonna have to tag the company that uh that i bought this from i was on a hunt with randy and uh i bought this uh this is a badger i'm all messing it up this is a badger right here and uh i thought i would bring him out to, to show you guys the the beautiful badger i i will i will post a picture of the link i'm sorry of the company that uh either either bought this and, and then fleshed it or trapped it and fleshed it but uh this is a dope badger i'm gonna go back to montana just to get some more pelts from this guy because as you can see uh well as you can see i'm uh i'm really starting to appreciate uh the furs i'm really starting to appreciate the furs uh that brings me to sort of my next topic my next topic is sort of like rewilding reconnecting bringing yourself back down to earth and just the essentials right so i'm feeling sick right i had bronchitis or actually i had walking pneumonia is what it was i had walking pneumonia i'm walking around with pneumonia not feeling good they gave me some antibiotics and the antibiotics i mean they didn't really work this is beyond i'm not feeling good still I already gave me a five-day antibiotic, and I'm not feeling good. Apparently, I'm not contagious anymore, but I don't feel 100%. Usnik, old man's beard right here. This stuff is literally been proven to help with any kind of like bronchial issues. It'll help clean out those nodes in there. It'll help get that mucus out of there. Uh, I'm going to make this, I was going to turn it into, I seen somebody on YouTube turn it into like a powder and drink it with some chaga, uh, but I'm just going to, I'm just going to steep this just like this. I'm going to soak it in some water, rinse it real good. 
or uh, just regular uh, room temp water. And then um, I'm gonna steep it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some 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 water boiling up. And I can't even talk right now. Get some water boiling up. Uh, turn it off. Let that kind of cool down a little bit. Then I'm gonna pour it slowly over this uh you know this usnik right here. And um, this usnik is uh you got to be really careful when you're pulling this stuff. If you crack it and it's black in the middle. You don't want to drink that stuff. You don't want to make any anything out of that stuff. Uh, apparently, somebody that I follow says that's not that's not usnik. Uh, it, it might be uh, Spanish moss, which is not actually a moss. It's a plant, but we'll get into that later. Um, getting into rewilding, and you're like, how how the heck did you go from this beautiful badger and wearing furs to to having usnik? Well, it's very simple for me. It's um medicine. It's old school medicine. This old school ways of living, old school ways of of, of having clothes. Um, a lot of people mount stuff, and honestly, when I mounted this, I wasn't. I was mounting it because that's what people do. I I, I was new to hunting. I got something awesome. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna mount it, but really. Really, honestly, I, I couldn't do anything else with this pelt because antelope pelts aren't really good clothing. They, they're, they're just not really good. But the deer, from now on out, from every day on out, from now on, from 21 and on, well, it's almost 22, holy crap, from, from January 22 and on, I'm keeping every single fur and I'm making clothes out of it. I'm going to have me a fur, a, a whole fur outfit, a deer and elk combo three-piece suit with with a vest out of beaver you dig i mean i'm gonna i'm gonna i mean why not look at look at why the hell not should i not have some uh some fur why should you not huh i mean we got all these cow where the hell are all this leather going from all these cows that are that are going who's if you are tossing or throwing away leather let me have that shit please uh, let me have that shit i mean not if it's hella old you know what I'm saying? If it's a fresh flesh, I will take that leather from you. Don't waste that shit. That's good clothes. Man, I can make some all kind of stuff. I mean, when I go on my bear hunt now, I already kind of have like what I'm going to do with this bear hunt. I already know what I'm doing. If I get a bear, 100,000% I already know what I'm going to do with the fur. I'm not going to do no mount. I'm not going to none of that. For what? I'm not going to use no mount. You can't use a mount. I might. No, I don't, I don't know. Right now, I'm in the stage of using stuff. So I don't. Right now, I'm probably going to make a jacket or a onesie or something. Or depending on how big it is, I might make a onesie for my kid. That they can have for Halloween. They can walk around. You know, there's all kinds of stuff that I can do. And I'm real excited about any 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 anything I come across. I mean, obviously, you know, I'm gonna have to do something with feathers when it comes to like turkeys and and and, and ducks, uh, fowl and stuff like that. But I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna figure it all out. But I'm I'm keeping all kind of stuff from here on out. You ain't gonna stop me. And if you ain't gonna keep it, I'll take it. If you were like, yeah, I'm not packing out that skin. I might have to come back and get that skin, cause. <laughs> good good leather boy that's some good leather so i've i've got a confession not even a confession just some of just tell you something get it off my back okay from here on out thousand thousand percent i'm gonna be a thousand percent me okay i'm 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 gonna be so me i might lose you guys i might lose you guys but one thing i've learned while hunting with randy is people are gonna fall in love with you that's what it is. If they love you, great. If they don't, well, that's what it is. But either they're going to love you or they're not. And, well, he said it himself. With that smile you have, you're infectious. And I'm thinking the same thing. Like, Randy, you're infectious too. So I'm hoping that I can be even half as infectious as Randy Newberg. Uh, I'm going to change some lives. I'm going to create more advocates for the outdoors. Everyone thinks I'm trying to create hunters. I'm not trying to create hunters. What I'm trying to do is normalize the, the activity of, 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 of outdoorsmen, outdoors personship. Can I say, can't say that. Outdoors personship. Because for some reason, people tend to like, like, not in a negative way, in a positive way, but they look at me differently when all I'm really doing is doing what you should be doing. You know what I'm saying? All I'm all I'm doing is collecting usnik. You should be collecting the same stuff and drying it out and just having it in, in your just having it. If you want to save it, what you can do is you can just put this in some alcohol, 
let it sit in some really high proof alcohol. And then uh, if you want to boil that alcohol out, you can boil it out later. But all I'm doing is doing what you guys should be doing. So I'm just going to bring this education to you guys. Everything I do is going to be 100% raw. Coming to you guys. I know nothing. I know absolutely nothing, you guys. I'm here to learn. That's that's how my brain works. I don't even when I know something and I know I know something, I don't know anything. Like for example, I'm shooting my bow. I shoot my bow all the time. I shot it all the time. I took a break for a while. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I've shot it all the time, and then I took a break because life and all this stuff. And blah, 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 blah. But when I come back, I'm taking everything off the bow and I'm starting completely from brand new. And my dog just walked in. I'm starting completely from brand new, completely from the top brand new i'm going through john dudley's school of hard knock uh bow class from day one i might even do it over again but i'm going all the way back to the basics and um i'm starting all over because i know every time i go through this program i learn something different i learn something new but um but that's what it is i don't want to bore you guys too much i'm charles the hunter i'm bridging minds saving lives one backstrap at a time you know what it is get outdoors do something good with your life i love y'all peace